A 14 year old from Tipton County, 14 years old, is accused of breaking into a home and stealing an assault style rifle. WRG's Mike Siriani spoke with a Covington police chief who says more kids are committing crimes that used to be reserved for adults. In this particular case, with it being an aggravated burglary of a residence involving a firearm, uh, we would request that he be held uh, in a facility until he can go to the court. Standard procedure, says Covington Police Chief Donna Turner, after a 14-year-old was arrested and charged with burglarizing a home on Highway 179, taking a Ruger AR-15 similar to this one with two fully loaded magazines. We don't know where he has uh, hit it, uh, if he has gotten rid of it, or exactly what has happened uh, with the gun. Chief Turner says the juvenile with pending charges for runaway and curfew violations unrelated to the burglary is currently not being held in a juvenile facility. There were no beds that were available for us to house um, this particular uh, juvenile. And then he is on an ankle monitor and released to his parent um, until the court date. Turner says the lack of space issue is fueling a growing problem of serious adult type crimes being committed by juveniles at a younger age. Unfortunately, the juveniles that are committing the crimes know that uh, and take advantage of that. I was just shocked. Felicia Mason with the Boys and Girls Club in Covington says there is a clear lesson to be learned about the impact of violence on the young. I recently had club member their dad um, got killed. You know, we had another club member. Um, their uncle was murdered. Um, we hear these stories. Tuesday, she took a step toward getting a juvenile facility in Tipton County. I reached out to Congressman Cohen and asked him whether there are any funds available to help build that facility. In Covington, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Trying to keep our youth on the right path.